Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at how tropical storms form. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. As we mentioned in the previous video, a tropical storm is a spinning mass of cloud. Between 80 and 100 occur every year, and in order to be able to compare them, we give them names. The first storm of the year usually starts with an A, then B, and so on and they alternate between male and female names. However, if a storm is completely devastating, with a high death toll for example, that name will not be used again. A good example of that would be Hurricane Katrina that struck New Orleans in 2005. Tropical storms occur within the tropics between 5 and 30 degrees north and south of the equator. However, they don't actually occur along the equator. This is because the Coriolis effect is not strong enough to make the storm spin. The Coriolis effect is the effect of the Earth's rotation. The sea temperature needs to be 27 degrees, which is close to the temperature of a heated swimming pool. This is one of the reasons that we do not get tropical storms in the UK, as the maximum sea temperature in the UK tends to be 17 to 18 degrees. The sea temperature of 20 to 7 degrees needs to be at a depth of 60 to 70 metres. This provides the heat and the moisture needed to cause the warm air to rise rapidly, creating low pressure. So let's have a look at tropical storm formation and development in a bit more detail. The air is heated above the surface of warm tropical oceans, hence the need for at least 27 degrees. This warm air rises rapidly, drawing more air and large volumes of moisture from the ocean. This causes strong winds. The rising air will cool and condense to form tall cumulonimbus clouds. This releases latent heat, which is energy that is released without a change in temperature. And this latent heat powers a tropical storm. There will be low winds present that allow the tropical storm clouds to rise high without being torn apart. The winds will then start to spin upwards due to the Coriolis effect. This is the effect of the Earth's axis. In the centre of the storm there is an eye where the conditions are calm. This is formed by cool air sinking, creating a zone of high pressure which leads to calm, drier conditions. The storm will be steered back by trade winds towards the land. Once it makes landfall, fall, the energy will start to subside as the storm has lost its source of power. This is why most tropical storm damage occurs along the coast. However, some storms will head back out to sea to get more power, then they will return to the land. This famously happened during Hurricane Katrina in August 2005, which is a Category 5 storm that battered New Orleans in the USA, leading to the deaths of over 1,800 people. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on how tropical storms form. Thank you for watching.